Hi, this is Bo Astrup, Music Marketing TV. I want to show you how I use Wave Arts Panorama. Panorama is a virtual acoustics processor which can produce stunningly realistic auditory scenes for playback over headphones or loudspeakers. Panorama uses a 3D audio and acoustic environment modeling technology to simulate the acoustics of sound propagation in real spaces. It uses an HRTF based binaural synthesis. An HRTF stands for Head Related Transfer Functions. What I want to show you here is how I use Panorama to create movement in my mixes. I guess I'm not using Panorama the way it was intended, but hey, I'm in the studio. It's about creativity and creating emotions. So let's first look at Panorama's interface. Here we have the speakers where the sound originates. And this is where we perceive the sound to be coming from. Down at this button here, I can select how far apart I want my speakers and how wide a stereo image the listener listens to. I suggest for this purpose to go 48 degrees. And we can set the exact location in a three-dimensional space where the actual sound will be for the listener. So you can set it's 15 feet from the left wall, 5 feet from the ceiling, 15 feet from the front of the room, 4 feet above the floor, and 10 feet from the back wall. And clicking here on reflection, I can fully customize this room. As you can see here on the left wall, we have a range of surfaces and I can set this to plaster on a brick wall. On the top, which is the ceiling, I can set that to acoustic tile. So you can totally customize this room, which is very different from most reverb plugins. In this demo, what I want to do is create movement on a drum loop. Let me show you how I want to do it. Let's listen to the drum loop first. Okay, you got it. So what I want to do to create the movement in the loop is start writing automation. I will write automation of the sound source position in the three-dimensional space. I want to do it with the flow of the music or in sync with the BPM of the track. So here we go. Okay, I guess you get the idea here. When I move the sound source around in this room, you will hear phasing from the various reflections. And when I hit that center, you will hear a bump in volume because we go mono and it'll raise 3.5 dB. In order to counteract the 3.5 dB raise in volume at the center, I will add a limiter. And in this case, I'm going to use FabFilter Pro L. Let's roll back and dial in the limiter. Please watch for your listening volume as this might get a little loud.
So you hear I'm starting to get some movement with the music, something I really can't do with putting a phaser on the track or any panner because I'm playing with the space here. And that's what makes panorama so effective. Now let's try something different. I have a pad over this other channel. Add panorama over here and let's listen to the pad first. So let's try doing the same thing here as we did with the drum loop. Okay. Depending on the track, it might be okay to have this little bump in volume when you move through the center point. Or again, we could add Pro-L to tame that 3.5 dB boost. And to make it even more interesting, you could add a pattern gate on this track. Or maybe another panner. And add a phaser and chorus or something other that creates more movement. But starting with Panorama, you have the ability to do something that moves and flows with your track. And this is something that I find really exciting and something that I haven't found a tool that could do before. I hope you found this useful. Go to wavearts.com and check Panorama. This is Bo Astrup, Music Marketing TV. Have fun recording and mixing.